So now I have my data being returned in a grid view. And in this grid view, I can edit and delete records. And that's all working. And I can also view my data in a details view. And a details view is just a different look at that one record at a time. Paging is really important here. Uh, I can also edit the records here. And I can delete records from here. And I can create new records from here. And this new record functionality is what's really important to us uh, from the details view. Uh, here in the grid view, the edit and the delete are working uh, just fine. So if I want to turn this into a way to add a new record, I'm going to go into my project. And instead of calling this details view, I'm going to call this new state. So I'm going to rename. And when I choose to rename, it renames the, uh, the code behind file and makes the change up here. So now I'm going to get into the design view. And I no longer need editing or deleting here. And I no longer need paging, because the only thing I'm going to use this for is to insert a new record. Now I need to change the mode of this from read to insert. So I'll highlight the details view. And default mode is going to change to insert. I'll save all this up. And the other thing that I want to add is a way to add a new record to get into there. So here at the top of my grid view, I'm going to add just a link. And the great thing about using ASP controls for hyperlinks is this tilde in front of the record. And with ASP, uh, everything can start from the root. So tilde means from root, go into new state. So if I had multiple folders uh, and uh, things like that, and it was a difficult path to navigate, that tilde lets me always go back and start with the root. If I was using a regular uh, HTML hyperlink, I would have to use the dots. So dot dot to go up a record or dot to mean from here. Um, so using an ASP hyperlink and using that tilde makes it much more flexible. I'll save this up and now let me view it in the browser. And if I want to add a new state, appears to be working, but I'd have to go back to my details view, I'm sorry, to my grid, grid view, and I can see that it's actually entering. So this little functionality where it just kind of hangs, is not incredibly user friendly, so I can uh, do some code behind to make that move after a record's been inserted. So I'll get into the code behind. And I'll choose the details view. And in that details view, when an item is inserted using that details view, and when this, uh, the, when this event fires, I just want to redirect it. To, so now when this details view, and I can get the name of that details view here, it's the ID. When that details view, when an item is inserted using that details view, then it's going to just redirect it back to the grid view. So I can see the new record was there. So let's try it.
and add a new state, it calls up the new state record. And after it's inserted, then it takes me back here. Now, if we're looking at these, I can take action when an item is deleted, inserted, or updated. Those are the most common. Uh, and the ED means that it's already happened. So after the record has been inserted, then do this. I can also use the ING, like inserting, deleting, updating, which means it's in the process of. The ED or the after it's finished is the more common. And by using these code behind events, uh, I can make for a smoother user interface uh, for the user uh, when they're adding new records.